Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is day two of making our rainbow Christmas tree. Last time you guys, last time you guys made the background and you made the rainbow trees. Today, what are we gonna do? We're gonna. Are we gonna cut? Yeah. All right, what are we gonna cut out? The Christmas tree. Yeah. All right. And then we're gonna make snow, then we're gonna glue the snow on, and then we're gonna make the the little bottom of the tree and glue it on. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make little stumps on the trees. All right, and so again, it was such a beautiful day outside, so let's go outside and work on finishing up our Christmas trees. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is day two of our rainbow Christmas trees. So last week, we made our six Christmas trees and our gradient background. Today, you're gonna need your papers from last time, a new piece of white paper, some scissors, and some it's a glue. glue. But also, if your glue doesn't wanna come out, just prepare to bring hay. Yes, we got ourselves a backup. All right, backup. Rosie. So, step number one. Backup is always helpful. Yes. Step number one is to cut out our Christmas trees. Wait, let's see what mom We're going to glue them on. All right, hold on, Rosie. Not just yet. Remember that extra piece of paper I gave you? Yeah. We need to make a little brown edge on that piece of paper. I'm going to move my background so I don't color on my background. Mm -hmm. So right here, mm -hmm. just right here, we're going to need a little bit of an edge. Because remember, we are paper what? Superheroes. Paper superheroes. And what is this brown for? I don't know. The tree trunks. Do you think our trees need some tree trunks? Yeah. All right, here you go. All right. Move that up a little bit. Color just the edge brown. All right, Rosie, let's put our trees in rainbow order. Yeah. Can you get another tree and look? Your trees can overlap each other. Yep. Remember the first video was we are overlapping shapes? Now remember that brown we colored just a bit ago? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, it's time for that brown. Wait, Mom, it's almost gonna be on the table. Here's your brown. My brown is really skinny. Here's my brown. It's really skinny. Wait, it's not long enough. And no, Mick, we're gonna do a little cut. And then this goes right here. Yeah, that's so good. All right. All right, guys, mm -mm. we were outside and we were working, but my camera decided to turn itself off and you guys didn't get to see the very last step. The last thing you guys saw was us gluing down the tree trunks. So the last step is to get some white paper or some white paint. You can just do little dots of white paint all over it to make snowflakes. Or you get a piece of paper, you fold it in half and in half and in half, that's three times you're folding it, and then um, you can cut out little dots for the snowflakes. I'm very sorry that the video cut off and you guys didn't get to see me doing it, but here is the final product. And he's mine. Well, I didn't put snow everywhere. That's okay, you got lots of snowflakes. All right, what do we tell our friends at home? Happy creating! Happy creating! Mm -hmm. Nope, you gotta hit the red. Hit the red. Move your hand. And, oh, oh, oh. Now let me click. Let me click.